Welcome aboard, High Roller. Our destination for today is a lap of luxury and opulence. My personal crown jewel, Gintere's Fortune Palace. Don't be too stingy with the coins and try on Rook. Surprised to see the latest DSC flagship in my place? One of their brutes stopped by lately. Bet his titan and went all in. Let's just say it wasn't his day. Anyway, Rook here is all wrapped in composite shields. It can shed them at any moment for instant repair. After a while, the shields will be back. The manual also mentions the castling ability. It says the titan can jump, dash from up in the air, and crash down on an enemy. Imagine what a jumbo like that would do to your robot on impact. I'll let you in on a free secret. Its blast has suppression and knockback effects. Actually, this whole rook castling deal made me think. How about a chess match? Next up, my personal favorite, Crisis. It stays in stealth as long as you don't use its guns or modules or call for orbital support. And it has four heavy weapon slots. You think you got yourself a perfect sniper? Wait until you hear this. Crisis takes it further with its active ability. It boosts damage and lets your guns ignore energy shields. I'd say you play your cards right, and you will always hit them hard where nobody expects. You know what? Let me show you something else. The rarest metals from Martian mines, a tailored armor from Yandi Labs, a custom-built set of weapons. And don't even get me started on the paint job. The highlights alone cost me more than a small crop facility up on the orbit. It's a Spectre, yes. But unlike a stock one, my Ultimate Edition can take a punch and fight back against the latest on the market. My palace offers a couple of these as a special prize. And looking at your ship, I think you might be worthy of it. Let's see if you can handle it, Commander. Good luck on the battlefield. <laughs>